Hello everyone, here is yet another video using my Stamping Bella Flower Garden stamp, but this will be the last one for a while. Um, I wanted to show this really cool and easy technique. It's still kind of watercolor, but completely different. So I'm using my Versamark um, Clear Sticky Ink to ink up the stamp. And then I have my Artist Loft watercolors here. These are the ones I got from Michaels. Um, I've done a, a review video on them and then I did a, like a full watercolor um, video using this stamp on them. And this time, after stamping the Versamark or inking up the stamp with Versamark, um, I'm going to use the watercolors and apply them directly to the stamp. Kind of similar to how you would use markers. So if you don't have markers, this is a really great option. Um, the Artist Loft ones are actually really good for this technique because they're kind of more chalky than traditional watercolors and I find it just kind of works to hold the color in place. I don't know, I haven't tried it with other watercolors to see how this effect would be, but it works with these, which is great. So it kind of gives you um, some more options. So all I've done after inking up the stamp with Versamark is I've loaded my brush with water and kind of pinched off the excess so it's not dripping wet, but still quite wet. And then I'm just picking up the color and dabbing it onto the stamp. Um, I mix the two purples here. You can do whatever you want. You can mix colors, use just a single color, but all you're doing is picking the color up directly onto the brush, loading it really well with color, and then dabbing it on the stamp. You don't have to be really quick with this because I'm gonna show you in a minute um, how we're gonna reactivate any color that might have dried. So I'm just picking it up and like always, I always start with the blooms. It's just a habit of mine when it comes to flowers. I always like to do like the actual flower first, the petals and everything else. So I'm just starting at the top and working my way down to get all the flowers covered. Not being super particular, but avoiding the stems and the leaves. And I decided to experiment a little bit and add even more color. And if you feel like you've added too much, you can just take a piece of paper towel. I kind of picked up a little bit so it wasn't a big blob of color. But I really deepened it and added quite a bit of color to this. And then clean off your brush really, really well. Get it wet again, but not completely dripping wet. And then I just mixed a couple greens and did the same thing. So adding that all in there. Not worrying too much about it. That's a nice thing with this versus using markers because you don't have to worry about like dirtying a marker or ruining it with the brush. If you pick up the other color, you can just wipe it off. So once I've got the whole image colored, I'm gonna lay down a towel. I highly recommend this. <laughs> lay down a towel to protect your, work, protect your work surface or you could lay the towel on the floor if you're gonna spray over your floor. And then I've just got a misting bottle full of water and I misted it about six-ish times. This is something you need to experiment with to see what works for you, how many mists it takes. You can experiment with the type of cardstock you use. Um, you can use watercolor paper. That'll give a really nice effect. I wanted to experiment and see how this would look on just regular cardstock. So I've got my favorite things, Sweet Tooth cardstock. And it took the color really well. Since it's a line image, and I'm not adding any extra water, like I'm not going to fill this in or anything else. It works just fine for this. You don't need watercolor paper. But I had two pieces cut out here and stamp, was able to stamp the image twice, once like once after the other without remisting or adding any color. And you get two really nice images. And that's the cool thing about this technique is every time you stamp it, it's going to look different. And the more times you stamp it, it's going to get lighter and lighter. So after I stamped it the two times on the front of the card, I grabbed the image again, I haven't added any extra watercolor, and then I misted the stamp about two to three more times, and then I'm flipping both of the cards over so that I have the inside facing me, and I'm going to stamp it two more times. So you can see every time you stamp it, you're getting it lighter. So it's basically generation stamping with watercolor. So really fun and like I said you can just experiment with this. Um, experiment with the colors, how much color you add, how many times you missed it, what types of cardstock you use, like there's so many possibilities with this and every single time you do it it's going to look different. So once I've got the inside stamped I'm going to dry it all again and then once I've got it completely dry I'm going to add my sentiments which again I'm using my great greetings stamp set because there's still more sentiments in that set that I haven't used in this whole little mini series of this particular image and these sentiment stamps. So I inked up um, the friends sentiment stamp from the set with the Hero Arts Block ink and using my stamp positioner again I'm going to get it lined up on the card here and I always kind of use my little grid mat to help line everything up 
because the more straight lines I have, the easier it is to line things up and eyeball it and get it where I want it. So using my stamp positioner, I'm going to get that stamped right onto the card front. And then I'm going to flip it over again so I have the inside facing me. And using the little companion stamp, I'm going to use my um, stamp positioner again to get that lined up. And I especially like the stamp positioner for really thin sentiment stamps like this that are just one line. Because, um, yeah, I'm horrible at eyeballing that. That's It's a real hit and a miss whether or not I get those ones straight. So get that lined up and stamp it. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing with the other card, but I'm just going to use... Um, a couple of different sentiments and yeah this was one of the fastest little card sets I think I've ever made I made both of these cards in under 10 minutes yeah I had timed myself once I'd filmed this entire video um, I've edited it out you know just bits and pieces of it because otherwise it would just drag on but yeah it took only about 10 minutes to co cover the stamp with color spray it stamp it onto these cards and then that's it so I thought I would try while they still had that stamp out and there was still a little bit of color left on it. I wasn't sure if this would work, but I pulled out the towel again and spritzed the stamp with water just another couple times. Again, I'm not adding any more watercolor to it. And I grabbed a couple of white envelopes from my stash and just stamped it onto both the envelopes. And I just got a really faint impression, but it's really cool. Out of that one application of watercolor, I got five, six impressions so it's fun I highly recommend trying it just to experiment with um, and as always there will be a link below the video to my blog post with more info and all the supplies you and I'll also link directly below the video to the supplies as well so thank you guys so much for watching and make sure to thumbs up if you enjoyed my video and subscribe if you haven't and I will see you guys in the next one bye